Quick question here. If you found out your spouse, significant other, uh, stole a candy bar, how would you respond? Would you break up with them, divorce them, laugh, get curious, inquisitive? The reason I say that is because um, I want to let you know that obviously affairs are a set of compromises and justifications. Now, what happens is D-Day, we find out the collection of these compromises and justifications. And for whoever this video may help, I just want you to realize um, getting to the bottom of things, whether you stick together or not, is very, very healing for yourself. So let's just say, um, you know, somebody uh, is, is hungry or somebody has a thrill to want to see what it feels like to steal or whatever the case is, um, or somebody um, has a horrible sweet tooth and they don't have the money and they take a candy bar. Well, a couple days later, you know, there's there's no money there. Or there's there's whatever the case is. You have kids and they're hungry and you want to give them a candy bar. And so your thought is, well, I already stole a candy bar. Let me steal this one. But this time I'm going to steal a king size bar. I got away with it last time. Um, I'm going to steal a king size bar. And not only that, it's going to help out me and my family and my kids to eat a king size bar. But now that I had a king size bar, you know what? When the cashier's not looking, I'm going to take $10 out of the register because now I can go and buy a bunch of candy bars. And then you buy a bunch of candy bars and then you get away with that and it's easy. And um, But most beneficial of all, your family now um, is eating chocolate and eating candy bars and yada yada. Well, time goes on and you compromise some more and you justify some more and you justify some more and then you compromise some more until next thing you know, you're robbing stores. And now you're getting a couple hundred dollars. Um, so, you know, the, the, the risk reward uh, it seems to be paying off. Your whatever was lacking inside of you to be able to provide for your family for their sweet tooth, let's just say, is being fulfilled. And next thing you know, you're like, okay, I, I'm getting away with a couple hundred dollars. Now I want a couple thousand dollars. I'm going to go rob a bank. Once I rob a bank, I can now, you know, um, get whatever I want, the clothes I want, the shoes I want. I can get my family what they want. I can get this. And then all of a sudden they rob a bank and they rob a bank of $50,000. And then they're on the news. They get caught. And then you get that phone call. Hey, just want to tell you, your spouse, your partner, whatever, just got arrested for um, holding up a bank for $50,000. And you're thinking, $50,000? What in the world were you thinking? Do you understand how much money that is? Do you understand the lives you put in danger? Do you understand all the... And what they're not getting is it all started with a candy bar. So please, please, I am not justifying. I'm not excusing. I am not rationalizing. I am not even minimizing that affairs are like chocolate. I'm just saying affairs are a series of compromises and justifications. And on D-Day, you get the atomic bomb that goes off in your life. But just understand it started from a firecracker. And it's very important that you peel back the layers and understand how this escalated simply for your healing, regardless if you stay together and reconcile or leave and start again.